Good morning, everyone. I'm working on a book this morning. I did say I would either do videos or go live. I'm going to go through everything that you need to do this. And I don't know what I've done with my other material because I want to try and do two of them today. I've been moving stuff around, getting ready for class. Here it is. I covered it up with the class box. I'm going to show you everything that you need to make a book. Um, I use these big boxes, the uncorrugated cardboard I use for books. Um, I also have Mod Podge. I have a paintbrush for spreading the Mod Podge. I have my fabric. I have some cover pages for the inside. These are nice shiny metallic um, cardstock. You can use regular paper. I do have some lined paper to go into this one. And I have already cut one and I will show you how I cut these out. Makes it very simple, very easy. Good morning everyone. Everyone, good morning, good morning. Set all this stuff off to the side. And I can show you how we cut the cardboard. I open this stuff up. And let me see where the so this is. is. You just take and break the seam on that and open this up. Let's see if I can't adjust this just a tiny bit. There we go. I see a little bit more and I can see you guys. Of course we're going to need a nice big pair of scissors. Um, what I do is I take my paper that seems to be really flat for some reason. I lay my paper on here, whichever way it fits most effective, and I try to use the lines that are in here. Let me slide this back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Right. I try to use the, the score marks that are already on the boxes and cut along those lines, but I also, let's get these together. There we go. I also draw a little line. Just a regular ink pen. Around the outer edge of my card stock that I'm using to cover the interior pages so I know where to cut. And then I use that to cut the second one. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. This is helping me get some practice with my camera angles and my lives and try not to be so stiff with my voice. I don't know why, but when I get on here, I feel like i got to be professional and I get that voice and it just won't go away. But hopefully, as we go along, I can change that. Now, this piece over here we're going to use as part of the binding, so make sure that you don't cut through this. You want to make sure to cut across this way because it's the same length as your front page. So we are going to go ahead and cut across this top. I need to purchase one of those guillotine paper cutters. That would be the best. 
All right, now we're going to cut this piece off right along the score mark that was done on the box. And yes, we can cut this directly in half and we will use that for our binding pieces. Also need a wooden dowel, a quarter inch wooden dowel. I didn't bring it in out of the shop because I haven't cut it yet. I will show you that portion when we get to it, but I'm just gonna show you how to get your book pieces out of here, your front cover, your back cover. And we will do this again on this other piece. Lay our papers onto here. So we can get a good, oh, I gotta go this way. Um, I've also used the cardboard pizza boxes, um, the DiGiorno boxes, Rochetta, whatever, pizza box, because it's not corrugated cardboard. It'll give you a nice thin book cover. Um, I've made several of these. Some of these I've bound with wood instead of using the little cardboard strips. But this could all be pretty much recycled crafts. You can take old t-shirts and use for the covering. Um, you can buy uh, what they call the fat quarters or fat squares from Walmart or your local craft store. Um, scrap fabric you've had left over from other projects works well. Finish cutting this out. And I also have some little embellishments that I forgot to get out. We don't have to worry so much about this edge over here. Being careful not to cut this because we already got both of our bindings. Okay. Now we have what we need to cover and bind our book. So these scraps to the side. And welcome, welcome everyone who's stopping in. We are making a book today. Actually, we are going to glue the fabric on two of the book covers today. I will have to let that dry. And then tomorrow, uh, I can come back and show you um, how to put it together. One thing I do need to get, and I'm not sure I see right where it's at, my hole punch because we are using regular paper and we're not sewing our binding. We're not sewing our book pages in. They're going to be held in with a wooden dowel. This thing is a little dusty because it hasn't been used in a while. Three hole punch. I take these. Make sure that you have your things done right. I'm going to put these to the inside because once we cover them, this will cover the inside and you will not see that inside the book. So I want to make sure to have both of these to the inside so any fabric that we put on here, whether it be light or not, no color from the cardboard will show through your fabric. So make sure you've got the sides you want in Put together we're gonna to do this here we might have to trim it up a little bit yeah we're gonna trim this just let me check and see which one this is because I don't want to yeah this one's a little big so we're gonna take and put these two together trim this up a little bit just so our books not all wonky Don't you start this morning. 
All right, now we're going to insert these one at a time, making sure to keep these right sides up. And we're going to put holes in them. And this should match. I'm going to put you out of here right now. That's enough. Should match the holes in your paper. Because the hole punch is set up to match those holes. Let's double check and make sure. Get this paper open here and pull the page out. Oh, that looks lovely. Quality control, huh? Yep, those holes are going to match up, and this is going to be a little bit big. Let me check this here for a minute, because I might have to cut all of this down just to match this paper. Yeah, we're going to do it because I like my books to be right. All right. I'm just going to cut off this extra here. Apparently, the paper has gotten smaller. Ten and a half by eight. It used to be eleven by eight and a half. So, school paper's gotten smaller, guys. Alright, we've got that fit to where it is the same size as our paper. So now we're going to trim everything else down, including our cardstock to this size. I'll have to make sure to trim the other ones over there too that I've already started. Both of these trimmed out. Good morning, everyone coming in. Good morning, good morning, everyone watching. I'm making my version of a book. All right, that's cut down to there. And we are probably going to have to redo those holes. Let's see. redo those holes because they're not going to match up. Let's see if these are in the right spot. Nope. We're going to have to change the spots. Mm, that's as far as that one goes. Oh, let me see. I didn't plan on having to do all of this this morning, but that's what happens. There we go. Let me get a piece of this in here and get this adjusted. back in here and redo this and not to worry the fabric will cover it up we put the holes in the same place didn't it oh, now you see crafters troubles
Now I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for this because this is not coming out right. I might have to punch holes in all the paper. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get this started here because I'm gonna get this, get this, to do it that way. Now we're going to have to get these cut down to size. I can't believe that the paper got smaller. The school paper got smaller. It got smaller everything. Good morning, everyone. We're here creating books. And this is books that I have made. Um, for a long time. Um, I can actually show you a finished one. So you can see what it is that I'm actually making. I have found this book the same way that I just did that I'm going to show you this one. I took some old Christmas stationery and put holes in it and made a book. You can do this with any fabric, customize it to whoever, and it's all. There's the cover page. Covers up the cardboard that you used. And we'll set this to the side now. Put that back in a little bit. All right, at this point, what we're gonna do is we are going to put our fabric covering on our books. Okay, so we're gonna set everything else aside except for our fabric and stuff. And I know I cut those pieces. I'll probably toss them right down here with everything else. Let's see. Yeah, we'll lay this up here. We'll cut our edges out of that in a minute. I have some Harry Potter fabric. These books are being made for someone special. So I'm going to take these and we are going to cover this cardboard. And I'm going to use Mod Podge. Um, it's like a matte glue. Uh, it holds it together well. It makes the fabric hard so it feels like a book cover. Um, but we're going to start with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my first thing of fabric. And we are going to lay it out so that both of our book covers will fit onto here. Now, if you want to orient your fabric any certain way, kind of discover which is the top of your book which is the bottom of your book. Make sure your holes match up. Let me put this up here so you can see. You want to make sure that these holes match up on both sides because if not, when you go to put your book together, it won't go together. Okay, so these holes are matching up. I know that I said that this should be facing up so that it can be covered with the cardstock, but we had to do this because the way the holes got punched. No biggie. So all I'm going to do is flip both of these over and I'm going to coat them with Mod Podge and then flip them back over and press them down onto this fabric. 
So I need to put my table protector up here a little bit better. All right. That way you can see what's going on. Opening up the Mod Podge. I wish they'd give you a little tab on here because it's hard to, with old hands, to get this open. And I think that I'm just going to use a popsicle stick to poke through this foil and get this foil lid off of here. Crafters, we don't like to waste anything. All right. And we are just going to take this and very carefully put a nice thin layer on here. I'm going to avoid the edges for now so it gives me something to hold on to. Got up this morning a little congested in the nose. You want to do this fairly quickly because the thinner you go with this the um, quicker it'll dry so I just want to kind of get this on here really quick I'll make sure to give a good go around the edges here make sure that I got all the edges Okay, and you will get a little glue on your fingers, don't worry. It's water soluble, water based, it comes right off. I try to work with things that are easy to clean and your cardboard will buckle up because you're making it wet. Okay, and set that brush on the lid there. I'm just gonna take this carefully and turn it over, making sure to keep my fabric flat. I don't want any ridges in my fabric. And you might have to press on this for a minute to get it to stay down because it is cardboard that is wet. Now it's going to want to turn up and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But once you get the fabric to stick to it, the fabric will come up with it and dry. Sometimes I will take and stick if I don't get too much glue outside of here. I'll take one of my heavy books and sit on here so it keeps it flat because you don't want your um, pages to roll up. You don't want your book cover to be rolled up. So I'm going to grab a big book over here. Push that corner down a little more. And I'm going to set a book on here. Let's take the one we made. I want to set it right on there. And it'll lay nice and flat. That's the one we made. Now, we're going to come over here and do this other piece. Set this off to here. That way everybody knows we're working with a Mod Podge. That is a matte Mod Podge. You can get gloss Mod Podge if you want your books to be glossy. You want to leave a little space in between your book covers because you are going to be cutting this fabric down when you get done and you are going to wrap it around the edges of the book which I can show you here in just a minute because I have some other ones that are that I've started but I haven't bound off yet. So I can show you that portion too. So all I'm going to do, and that one stayed pretty flat because we got the glue on there pretty quick. Didn't give it time to roll up. And we're going to set this 
back up here. I'm going to go rinse my brush real quick and I will be right back. Morning, Minnie. Morning, home hooking. How are y'all doing? I'm doing good this morning, home hooking. Got to go rinse off the glue so I can reuse my paintbrush. I will be right back. Actually, I think we're going to glue the second one too. That way I can have both of them drying. So let me move this one over to here. And we will get our other one out. and wants to test my patience this morning. I hope he can be quiet. Got a little bit of glue that leaked through. That's no problem because we're just going to be putting more glue down here. So we are going to start with our other fabric. And our second book. Come up here a little bit. Okay, that's where I put that. Two that. These, did I cut these down? I bet you I didn't. Not, we will have to cut these down to fit the paper. Where did I put the paper? Oh. Got to make sure that this is going to fit the paper. Well, this one did probably because we cut it by the paper. The other one we cut by the um, cardstock. We are going to trim a little bit off the top of this here. Get us started with that paper out of the way. Double check here. All right, there we go. We got it better. Now, we need a touch again. I really need to check this out because I don't want to have to re-punch holes in all of this paper, but that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Or here's some different paper. Actually, that top hole is pretty close. It's the middle one. And the bottom one can't come up any higher. going to have to repunch all of this paper. Oh, I'll do it. Either that or I'll get some, um, I'll probably just repunch holes. That way it'll fit. But we'll get this glued on. These holes punched in here. Get this glued on. And then we shall go from there. I can show you some of the other, or the other book that I've made. They're not quite finished yet, but I can show you what this point looks like when it gets done. All right. And we probably did it again. Yep, that's okay. I need to check real quick before this ends. Right. Now, if 
you use a proper amount of glue on here, your book pages will still feel soft. The book covers. Good morning, Riri from Michigan. I am making books. Uh, this is going to be a multiple part because I have to let this stuff dry. I will show you um, the next step, which is already finished um, after I get these glued down here. So we're going to turn this one over, put some glue on it. Get it done out here. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you get glue out on the fabric a little bit because you're going to turn this right over in the spot where you are. Leave a little space in between both pages. Glue it down to this fabric. And we're going to go ahead. Oops. Make sure you get those edges good. We're going to turn this around this way because we want to make sure we get our book holes lined up. Okay, and just press that down. All right, now we're going to flip this one over. Make sure when you flip them back over that you line up the holes. Make sure you line up the holes before you try to glue them down. That way you've got it glued onto the right side. Otherwise, you're going to have two front covers or two back covers. This one. And we just glue this down. I know there's another gentleman on here that makes leather bound books that I watch. Um, I think his handle's called Bear Cub with some numbers behind it. I can't remember everybody. But I like watching him. He makes really nice leather bound books. Not a lot of us can afford to um, purchase the leather and all the tools and stuff that are required for that, but he does a great job. I like watching him do his books. All right, we're going to flip this over, and we're going to press that down. Press pretty hard because you'll push all of the seams and creases out of the fabric on the other side as you push it down. I might have to set this other book on here for a minute. Riri, are you still in here? Not sure if you are or not. Um, this is what I have already made. This book is bound with cardboard and wood dowels, and it's all glue and fabric and cardboard and paper. And you can pick whatever fabric you like. Good morning, Shelbyne. Good morning, Marie. How's everybody doing this morning? We are making books. So we've got these glued down here. We're going to move this over and I'm going to take this plastic up and I will bring over the partially done books. I want to go rinse this paintbrush off real quick if everybody will be. Oops. Yeah, let's paint Mod Podge on the holder. <laughs> Let's take this and set this off to the side for a minute. I'm scared of it. Well. I'll turn this one over and push some of the wrinkles out of the seams and creases. Probably should have ironed my fabric before I started this, but it should be okay. that paintbrush rinsed off and I will pull one of these books over here that I already have done 
almost done. I have to finish these up. Let's take this out of the way because this has got a little bit of glue on it. And protect my table. So, what I have done, let me take, I cut wooden dowels to a little bit more than the length that you want your book to be, the thick, thickness of you want your book, your pages and your uh, front and back cover. You need to have a little extra left over so that uh, you can put your binding on. Once you get your page covered, you see your holes here. I've already folded the edges in, glued it down to the back side, and applied the cardstock. You can use cardstock, you can use regular paper, you can use construction paper, um, you can cut paper bag, whatever you want to do. But this is the finished book cover. And once you've got one of those finished, you can start stacking your paper in. And what I do is I will turn this over like this, put my wooden dowel into one of the holes and start, well, all three holes and start stacking paper. Um, I will put a little bit of glue in between like every five, six sheets in the binding area only because here I have one of the book covers. The dowels are inserted, the papers are stacked, and then this one goes onto the top. Of course, if you buy paper without holes in it, you have to punch holes in it. I would request getting paper without holes so you don't have to try and make the holes fit like I'm trying to do with this lined paper. I will probably buy some printer paper because that's what I have in here, printer paper. Once we get this point done, then I take more fabric and wrap around this, which I will show later with the other books, and it gets placed down over these holes. I don't know if you can see this. It gets placed down over these holes, down over the, after it's covered in the fabric. And then it gets wrapped around and the back piece, the other piece goes on the other side with the fabric on it and everything gets glued and it sets for a while. Um, I will show you this portion. I will finish um, these books up probably tomorrow. Yes, I will do another live tomorrow to finish these books up. Um, but at this point, I have to let that dry and I have to prep the fabric and cut it for this. But I will do that all on a live. So I will be showing you how to do all of these books tomorrow. I will have my paper ready and all of that so that we can go on from that step and work right on through the rest of the books. But I wanted to jump on here and show you all that this morning. I am doing crochet class here in a little, little more than an hour, about an hour and 13 minutes, 8 o'clock. So stop on by. We're going to be um, crocheting and knitting today. Uh, but yes, tomorrow, probably starting at 8 when I would normally do class, we'll finish up these books and... If anybody wants to get the materials that you need to follow along or try to make your own, any fabric, you can use old t-shirts, old bed sheets, old curtains, it doesn't matter as long as you can glue it to the cardboard. Um, really thick curtain fabric might be a little too much, um, but I do have some surprises and some pretty things to show when we put these all together. So you guys can be with me when I put all of these books together. And I actually have one more that I need to glue, but it's one that won't be shown on video because it's a gift. And I won't show that until after the gift recipient receives it. So if anybody has anything that they would like to see craft wise, I'm willing to show you how to do any type of craft. We'll learn together if I don't already know. Um, 
But thank you for joining me today. And I hope to see everybody in class, like I said, at 8 o'clock. Bring your yarn, bring your crochet hooks, and your knitting needles. We're going to knit some today, too. So we'll see everybody at 8. Oh, come on. And happy crafting.